Hey guys, today we're going to continue reviewing stuff about logs, and today we're talking about the laws of logs. So we're going to be using the laws of logarithms to expand or condense expressions. So first of all, let's talk about what those laws are. So when we talk about condensed form versus expanded form, I always think about condensed form being the pretty form. Everything's in terms of one log. Okay, versus expanded form where I'm going to put everything in as many different logs as I can. So the condensed form of this guy, if I have a product in the argument, so if I have a times b on the argument, in expanded form, that's going to be log base a plus, sorry, log base 10 of a plus log base 10 of b, or whatever your base was. And this makes sense if you thought about with your exponent rules, if we had had x squared times x cubed, we go ahead and we add those exponents together. So that's what's happening here. We're multiplying my argument together, and so I get to rewrite that or expand that as an addition. Okay, the same thing works if you have division on the inside of your argument. So if I have log of a divided by b, that can expand out to be log of a minus log of b, which again makes sense because if I had a division problem where I had x to the 5 over x to the 2, I know I can take that same base and then subtract my exponents. Okay, so um, the hard part here is to remember it's, all, it's not always big minus small, it's always top minus bottom when you have this right here. When you have your division sign. So it's always top minus bottom of whatever that argument is. And you also might want to make a note that we don't know anything about this. If you have a log expression over a log expression, we can't really do anything with that. Okay, we have to only have it if it's divided inside the argument. Okay, and the last one that we know is going to be if you have log of a raised to the b power. And actually all you have to do here is take that exponent and put it out in the front of your log expression. So it would just be equivalent to b times the log of a. And that looks like log of. Uh, anyway, so that makes sense again because if you had x squared to the cube power, we remember that we multiply our exponents together. And so the exponents are just like a multiplication. So those are the general laws that you need to know. Multiplication goes with addition, division goes with subtraction, and then exponents are actually just the times on the outside. So let's practice a little bit. So if we are given an expression like this, if they give you lots of different logs, they're going to ask you to con condense it and make it prettier. And the big deal here is that everything needs to have the same base in order for me to condense. I cannot type or write what is going on. Okay, I have to have the same base in order for me to do anything. And so this is good. We have a 3, a 3, and a 3. So I can condense this down. So if I look right here, the first thing I always do is move these coefficients and make them into exponents. So right here I ha would have, I didn't do anything to the first term, and this guy is equivalent to log base 3 of 7 to the 1 half, which we know anything to the 1 half power is actually a square root. Okay, And now I'm just going to go left to right and simplify down what I can. So if I have a plus on the outside, I know that I'm actually multiplying on the inside of my log. So since these are the same base, I would take log base 3 of 12 times the square root of 7, and then I still have minus log base 3 of 2. And again, since I have minus on the outside of these two logs with the same bases, that's actually just division on the inside. So I'd have log base 3 of 12 times root 7 all over 2. So it's just first divided by the second. And um, this would be a great answer. You could simplify a little bit further and make this into, since these both divide by 2, to log base 3 of 6 root 7. But that would be my log expression condensed down as far as they could. Okay, Expanding, you get to expand a little bit less, I would say, as opposed to condensing, because expanding is with the process of making it uglier, where I'm trying to write this expression into as many different log terms as I can. So we have the natural log of that whole big mess in there. And the first thing I'm going to deal with is the division sign. So I want to get rid of this division or this fraction first. And I remember, if I have a division sign inside my argument, it's really a minus sign outside my argument. So I'm going to write whatever the log expression is. In this case, it's natural log or log base e of my top minus natural log 
of my bottom. Ooh, all this stuff. Okay, lots of parentheses there. Okay, I'm gonna expand out that first expression. We have natural log of a times b, so it would be a plus on the outside. And then we have minus all that stuff. And again, you can do this in multiple steps if you need to. I'm just doing this step by step for the purposes of the video. So right here, the one part you're gonna have to be really careful of is this is minus this entire expression. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just another set of parentheses because you can never have too many. Remember, if this is gonna be root three of c times that d plus one. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite my first part. And inside my parentheses, I had this guy would be another plus. So I'm just gonna go ahead and distribute out that minus sign right now. So I'd have root three of c, and then again, I know it should be a plus sign, but because there's a minus outside the parentheses, I have to distribute the negative. Okay, so natural log of d plus one. Okay, um, the only other piece of thing, a uh, piece of thing, the only other thing I can do here is I know that anything to the uh, root three or the cube root is gonna be, I'm gonna write off to the side, to the one third power, and I know that I can move powers in front of my log expression. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that as one third, now the lateral log of C. And then the part that might trip you up a little bit is you're like, oh, here's a plus, I can change this. But remember, we don't have any rules for anything as a plus inside the argument. We only have rules for plus outside the argument. So this is actually as far as I can take this guy. And again, expanding is the act of making this thing uglier. So since there's no multiplication or division inside the argument left, I'm done. There's one last thing I wanna talk about and it's called the change of base formula. This formula was actually really, really useful back when we had the old calculators, the, um, the black TI-83s. Um, but now we actually can do log bases in our calculator. However, we might need to know this for if we're trying to solve a log equation or something like that. So the change of base, what this does is make you able to write this thing in your calculator or write this out as something that's not a log base besides when we know. Because in your calculator, the log button that you see over next to the seven is always log base 10. So log base b of x, we could rewrite it as log base of the argument, log base 10 of the argument over log base 10 of whatever your base was. And you can do this for any of them. You could have made this natural log of x since that's also a button on your calculator. So if for instance, I wanted to get log base two of five, I would have just had to find the log base 10 or the log of five divided by the log of two. And then I could have typed that into my calculator and gotten a number out of it. Or you can do log of, or natural log of five over natural log of two. However, in the new calculators, in the new operating system, so anybody who has like an 84 that's been updated, you can do this in your calculator, where if you hit alpha and then window, you're gonna notice one of your options says log base something and it's going to allow you to change the base on your actual expression and get that log out of there. Okay, and that's all I've got for you about the laws of logs. I will see you tomorrow.